Another big negative about living in Maine during the winter is that because Maine is so driven by tourism, many local men, many, mm. that's the other part about living in Maine during the winter when you try to film is that your brain freezes and that you can't remember what you're going to say. <laughs> Move to Maine, they said. Everything was going to be great, they said. You're gonna love it here. No problems, ever. Perfect all the time. Yeah. Before I moved to Maine, I had been coming up to the state to vacation in my aunt's lake house for my entire life. I absolutely fell in love with the mountains, the rugged coastline, and a population home to some of the nicest people on planet Earth. Today, I am so grateful to call Maine my home, but I would be lying to you if I told you that everything was perfect here. The reality is, is that Maine, just like anywhere else in the country, has its pros and it has its cons. And while we've definitely done videos before talking about why not to move to Maine, today I'm gonna highlight what I think is probably the biggest negative when it comes to living in Maine, and that is dealing with the long, hard, and cold, and bitter, and annoying winters. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about what winter is really like here and why it can be the reason that you may not wanna to move to Maine. But before we do, real quick, just let me introduce myself. My name's Cam Avery. I'm a real estate agent with the Avery Realty Group. And on this channel, we do our best to peel back the curtain and show you exactly what it's truly like to live in Maine. And so if that's something that you appreciate, do me a huge favor and hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe to our channel so that you can learn more about what it's like to live in Maine. So first off, when it comes to winter in Maine, let's talk about the temperatures. Throughout the state, the temperatures during the winter months are going to range from 35 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit all the way down to negative 20 or below in some areas. These temperatures mean that unless you really like winter activities, you're most likely not gonna spend a lot of time outside, which I can tell you definitely gets old the longer the winter goes. In fact, today it is 14 degrees out, and the only reason I don't have gloves on is because I'm filming this video. Another big negative about living in Maine during the winter is that because Maine is so driven by tourism, many local men, many, mm. that's the other part about living in Maine during the winter when you try to film is that your brain freezes and that you can't remember what you're going to say. <laughs> Another big negative about living in Maine during the winter, because Maine is so driven by tourism, many local amenities close down during the winter months, making you feel even more isolated than you would if they had remained open. Not only is it cold and bitter outside, but driving through your favorite spots can sometimes feel like a ghost town, which can definitely make you a little stir crazy just trying to get outside and do something. Now this may be just what you're looking for, and if so, then Maine is going to be the perfect place for you. But if you like a lot of activity and things to do, then winter in Maine is going to be the worst time of year with one caveat. If you like outdoor sports, skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiling, ice fishing, then winter actually could be your favorite month. It's there's very few tourists here and you get to enjoy all of the great Maine wilderness. Snowmobile trails going all throughout the state. However, if that's not your thing, then unfortunately, honestly, there's not a whole lot to do in Maine during the winter time, which I find to be a huge negative. It's definitely a reason why so many people head south during the winter out of the cold and get back to civilization. So what about snow? Well, to be honest with you, we just got 16 inches of snow last night. It's one of the bigger storms that we've had in the last couple of years. The average snowfall in Maine is 50 to 70 inches along the coast and 60 to 110 inches inland. The coast rarely has more than 15 to 20 days annually with snowfall of one inch or more, although a nor'easter may occasionally drop 10 inches or more of snow in a single day, which is what we just had yesterday. If you're coming from a population that has snow and winter, then Maine's winters would be considered relatively average. However, if you've never dealt with snow before, then you are in for a treat. <laughs> Having a good vehicle with four wheel drive or all wheel drive is really important, definitely helpful for driving in the snow. And making sure that you have a good set of winter boots and snow pants and a nice winter jacket is essential. I will say that down here in the southern part of the state, close to the coast, the winters over the last few years have been pretty mild when it comes to snowfall. In fact, last year I actually only had to call my plow guy out three times to plow our driveway. Essentially, the closer you are to the coast, the less snow that you're going to get, and the more southern you are in the state, the less snow you're going to get. 
And so if you're looking to be in the thick of it during the winter, then I would head north and inland. But if you're thinking that you may want a winter with less snow, then I would head to the coast in the southern part of the state. Hey, if you seriously are considering moving here, make sure to download our free relocation guide. You can download it totally for free just by clicking the link right in the description below. One last thing I wanna mention about winter is that it can have an effect on your mental health. Seasonal affective disorder is a real thing where your body is exposed to less UV rays than normal and depression can be more prevalent. If you're someone that struggles with isolation and depression, living in Maine can make that even more challenging for you. So it's definitely something to consider when thinking about moving here. You may want to be closer to a larger population or an urban area like Portland, Augusta, or Portsmouth, New Hampshire. That way, if you do get lonely, it's only a short drive to get amongst the larger population and find things to do for restaurants and shops that will be open year round. So as you can see, there's a lot to love about Maine, but it's definitely not for everyone. If you love winter sports and being outside, there are plenty of things to do in Maine, but if you're looking for a place that's warm all year round with no winter, unfortunately, Maine is definitely not gonna be for you. If after watching this, you think that you still may want to move to Maine, make sure you watch this video here, where I'm gonna tell you what no one else is talking about when it comes to living in Maine.